I first met Kira, God, it was about four o'clock in the morning. Alice told me she'd left some new waitress in charge of that bloody Italian place. You know, the one I used to have on the King's Road. So we went down there to make sure she hadn't buggered off for the takings. Four o'clock in the morning and she's sitting there drinking my brandy, smoking my fags as if she owned the place. Uh, I have to admit, though, it was done properly. All done properly. We made her the manager on the spot. We never looked back. I like Tom's world. I did. Colombian coffee, Russian vodka and French pastries. <laughs> he always knew someone who could get just the right thing for his business. But I always wondered, sitting in those beautiful restaurants or watching Tom happily hobnob, what else there was. He's sitting there alone in this bloody great house like some stupid animal licking his pain. There's a whole list of things I could tell you. Dad can be a real bastard, you know. The charm's that deep. That bloody house. It is so big and now the kids have gone. Well, I must say, I have lost weight since Alice died. It doesn't do much for your appetite losing a lover than losing your wife. Yeah, I must say I miss her. Alice, of course. Kira, too. Professionally, yeah. Personally, as well. <laughs>